great things about Virtual DJ is that it's got a, uh, a zip compressor inside of the program and it allows you to play a zip file as if it was uh, an MP3 file or an AVI file. Okay, and one other note that I wanted to make here is if you see here, see the little, uh, like I said, the TV screen with the microphone on it? Now, yours may not look like this. That's the video file part of it. Obviously, your MP3 file is going to look probably just like this unless you use uh, something like Winamp or whatever to open it up, then it may be a Winamp file. But this right here, it may look different on your screen. It, this could be a little GOM format, or it could be a, a Windows Media format. It could be whatever your computer uses uh, to, you know, the default program you use to open up video files like these. Uh, in this case, this is a Siglos file. It uh, Automatically, my computer is configured to open these with Siglos. And I'm going to give you a quick example here. Like I said, these are ready to go. So all you have to do is uh, double click on the video icon. And you'll see right now the program will come up, the Siglos program. And as I said, this is just an example to show you how it works. It's ready to go as it is right now. And there it is. All right. So we're getting close. We're going to close that out because our main focus here is to use it with Virtual DJ, not Siglos. Uh, you can use these same file formats in Virtual DJ with no problem. Okay, but here's the optional step. So we back out of here and go back to where it's just a file that says karaoke rips and we're going to minimize that. Now the next step is converting those uh, CDG plus MP3 files into a single zip file and we're going to use a program available as freeware right here. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> it's Active ASP software and the freeware that you're going to be downloading is this right here, MP3 plus G tools. And what that does is it converts those, it converts all kinds of different uh, karaoke files, but what we're going to use it for is to convert CD plus G files into a single file called a zip file. Okay, so you're going to download this program here and I've already got it, so we're going to move on to the next step, as uh, assuming that you're, you've already downloaded it yourself. So now we're going to go back to that folder, and we've already downloaded your MP3 tools, right? MP3 plus G tools. I'll zoom in so you can see it here. Now, here's the cool part about it. Instead of double clicking on it and going back into the files and changing each one individually, you can change all of the files within a folder by going back to the folder itself. And you could have 100 CDGs with 18 songs per CDG ripped to your computer, so that'd be what, 1800 songs? You could do it all in one shot by right clicking on the file where your karaoke uh, dual files are, your video and mp3 files. Right click on it. Wait for that little window to pop up here. Okay. Now what you're going to see is, you know, the window that uh, when you right click, this window always pops up because it wants to know what you want to do. The computer's asking you. Well, if you've already downloaded mp3 plus g tools, you'll have a choice right there stating mp3 plus g tools dot net. Okay, so click that. You wait for the little window to initialize. And that's where you're going to have your choice on what you want to do here. Okay, this is the pop-up window that comes up when you're ready to convert your files. And you have some choices here. You've got Convert zip to bin files. Bin is another type of uh, karaoke file or other type of you know music and video file. You got audio plus G to bin. You got bin to zip. Audio plus G to zip. Zip to audio plus G. 
bin to audio plus G, rename files from internet, that's using that database program I told you about, create queue or text files, clean up the file names, and check for updates to the software. Okay, well, for the purpose of this video, we're going to convert those files that we have, the dual format files, which are audio plus G to zip. So we're going to take two files and turn them into one, which makes it much more manageable and it takes up less room on your, on your computer. It's not tremendously uh, different, but it's probably about 20 to 30 megabytes different. In, uh, and that adds up when you have thousands of, uh, of CDGs, you know, of music uh, karaoke files. So we're going to uh, click on this, convert audio plus G to zip, and click start. And there's the little progress window. And uh, for one CDG conversion, it takes probably about three minutes. So it could take half hour to an hour to do, you know, 100 CDG uh, conversions. So we're going to go ahead and let this go ahead and convert, and then I'm going to show you what happened. Okay, so there it is. It's just about to complete, and it's finished. And you'll know because it'll say total progress 100%, and it is at 100%. And all you do now is just exit. You just close out of there. Now we'll go back up into that folder where our music is, where our karaoke is, and double-click on it. And there we have it. Now they're in single files. So you don't have to deal with a separate audio and a separate video file. And Virtual DJ will be able to, you know, play these just like anything. And I know there's people out there like, no, I don't like to use zip files because I don't think the quality is as good. Well, you know, I put these up on a projector uh, with a 7-foot screen, you know, on a 42-inch LCD. Um, and I used a little 22-inch for the, for the singer to look at. And uh, they, it always looks really nice, so there's no problem here. Okay, so we're done. That's all you do here. So now the next step is to open up Virtual DJ. Okay, and there's the icon for Virtual DJ 6.0.1. We'll go ahead and start that program up. And there it is. Now, remember, this is my desktop, so I have no hardware connected. So it's searching for the hardware. It takes a little bit for the Virtual DJ program to, to start up because it's looking for the hardware. But you don't need to use hardware to use Virtual DJ. So once it's done initializing, then we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to find those files you just completed. Don't